Hey Twilight, it's Wednesday and obviously today is fantastic because the Twilight movie is out and everyone has seen it and opening weekend it made like 70 something million dollars. This video is pretty much going to be all about my thoughts on the Twilight movie which I've seen multiple times now so it's more than just I liked it like I really do have some likes and some hardcore dislikes about the movie so if you haven't seen the movie and don't want to be spoiled then stop watching. I decided to do a like and a dislike column. This is my likes column and this is my dislikes column. As you can see they're equal but then the likes column continues here and on the back. So I made condensed lists off of that and this is my condensed like list and my condensed dislike list. And this is my list of, I just have so many lists and things I have to say. I'm going to try to hurry and make this not really confusing but I judged the movie based on four things in order of importance to me and those things were whether the Bella Edward chemistry was good, whether the movie was true to the story, whether the movie was true to the book, or all if it was a good movie or not. As things could have been different and things could have been bad but as long as Edward and Bella and Robin and Kristen just really had that chemistry and you could really believe that they were in love that was what was really really important to me and Rob and Kristen portrayed that beautifully on screen. True to the story, it was very true to the story. Some things were out of sequence and some things were added in and taken out. It, but being true to the story, the overall story of Twilight, it was right on. For the book, I gave that like a 3 out of 5 because it's not exactly true to the book, but I'm okay with that. The things that they changed and the things that they took out, I think they should have taken out. I really, really liked some of the stuff that they put in. There was nothing that really changed from the book that I really disliked with the exception of possibly the meadow scene. That was kind of a disappointment was that they didn't have a really amazing meadow scene in there but we had the tree scene and we had so many other things so I just kind of got over that. My biggest pet peeve that people around me are saying is I hated the movie because it wasn't exactly like the book. Da -da 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 -da. In the movie Edward waves with this hand and in the book he's supposed to wave with this hand. Why did they leave out the scene with the blood drawing and da 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 da. There are several girls in my school who hated the movie because it was not exactly like the book. Ugh, this frustrates me so much. You cannot go into this theater and think that you are seeing like the book because you're going to be disappointed. You have to go into this theater thinking, I am about to go see the movie Twilight about Edward and Bella who love each other, okay? That's, that's, you needs to be your mindset. Same with Harry Potter, same with Secret Life of Bees, same with any book that becomes a movie. You cannot go in there thinking that you're going to see this beautiful book exactly as the beautiful book is on the screen because it is never going to be like that. It Books and movies are just very different like that. Alright, yeah, that little rant. The fourth thing that I judged the movie on was whether it was overall, whether it was a good movie. Overall, it was a good movie. It wasn't Oscar worthy. It was a good movie. It was well shot. It wasn't perfect by any means. Not related to Twilight at all. It was a good movie. I'm going to go ahead and do dislikes first and then do likes. One of the things that always bugged me all three times when I saw the movie was when Bella walks into the biology for the first time, hair like blows towards Edward, Rob kind of looks disgusted. He looks like, ew, like he doesn't look like he wants to kill her. He looks like he wants to throw up, like he's disgusted by her. I I just really thought that those, that those should have been portrayed as more feelings of like hatred, like I hate you, I want to kill you, and Rob more, looks more like, us. who smells like dog crap is kind of what he looked like. The number one main thing that bugged me that I did not like about the film were the special effects. And within reason, okay, like the running through the trees and the way they tried to make it look like they're going fast and pulling the boat forward, that was not high quality special effects. And I that was kind of disappointing. Here's an interesting statistic that helped me feel better about the movie. The first Harry Potter movie had one hundred million dollars more than Twilight. And the Harry Potter numbers have quadrupled in budget since then, so this was a really, really low budget film. And I think with the small amount of money that Catherine had, she did a really good job. And she did the best she could with special effects. What Sparkling, was that great? No, it was okay. I, I'm... I'm, I'm okay with it. I There's better things that I have to worry about than sparkling is not going to be the thing that makes me hate the movie. It was okay, but it could have been done better. But I have a real love-hate relationship with the wood scene where he's telling her that he's a vampire and that he can like be strong and run fast. I love it because I thought that it was shot beautifully. Right when she says vampire and he's like, say it, say it. You know, the way they're like panning around the woods and you know, this that, that tension and that, I just really, really like that, and all that wasn't perfect, but then he kind of, like, takes her and he runs with her, 
and he's just kind of going all over the place and I think it's more the dialogue that bugs me about that scene. All of a sudden it's like, I want to eat, we shouldn't be friends, oh my gosh I'm in love with you, here's my vampire abilities. That scene was just a little off, a little off for me. I thought it could have been done better, but at the same time, I thought it was beautiful. I just have really, really mixed feelings about that scene. Oh, my biggest pet peeve. This is the stupidest thing, but it's one of the things that bugs me the most about the movie. He honks at her when he wants her to come down, like, before school when he's picking her up. She's, like, sitting in her room, and she's like, about three things I was absolutely positive, and all of a sudden you hear a honk, and Edward's outside leaning against the car waiting for her. I'm sorry, but Edward Cullen would not honk at Bella. He would ring the doorbell and go up there and escort her to the car. He would not honk at her like some jock picking up his slut girlfriend. Now I've ranted about the things that I didn't like. Uh, now for the infinite things that I loved. The soundtrack is perfect. It works so well. All the songs and just the music works beautifully with the whole movie. All the Charlie and Bella scenes were perfect. I didn't picture Charlie like that. I pictured Charlie like a little bit older and like weaker, but the way they did Charlie was just really good with the pepper spray. Billy the Pimp. I really, really liked the way they did Billy. That's not in the book at all, but it's 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 a good change. That possibly like my third favorite scene in the whole movie is when the Cullens walk into the cafeteria and it's like slow motion and they're like, yeah, we're hot. And Bella's like gaping at them. And then like Edward walks in and she's like, who's that? And Bella's like, And Edward's like, yeah, you're fine. And there's all this connection. And I was like, oh, so good. Bella's clumsiness was perfect. Slipping on the ice, she trips in the forest. All the scenery basically was 100% how I pictured in my head. The town of Forks, the car, the house. I loved how at random moments during the movie, she'd just be kind of looking at Edward and like lose her train of thought. The most obvious of those was when... Um, Mike was asking her to prom and she's looking over her shoulder at Edward, but that happened m multiple times during the movie and I really liked that. Another one of the things that the stupid fangirls in my school are saying is Rosalie's fat. Grow up! Rosalie is not fat. Poor, poor Nikki. She isn't even, she's not fat at all, okay? Rosalie is described as the most beautiful girl in the world. That is not a sick Mary Kay Nash stick figure. That is a woman with curves, okay? That's fat, then I'm obese. Seriously. My second favorite scene in the entire movie was when they're walking into school and Edward has the sunglasses on looking fine. All the kids are like slow motion like, oh my gosh, and Edward's like, mm-hmm. The meet the con scene where they're making her dinner, I love that. So baseball, I thought was done perfectly. Those ignorant girls, as I keep mentioning, who hated the movie, we're talking about how the baseball diamond is supposed to be huge, and in the movie it's like a normal baseball diamond, but in the book it's supposed to be like the size of the meadow. Like, come on, there should be bigger things for you to complain about than the size of the freaking meadow that they play baseball in. Like, Come on. I'm just weird because I think my favorite scene in the entire movie was where Edward and, it was after the kiss where Edward and Bella are sitting on Bella's bed and they're talking and slowly you see her like get more tired and then she's like asleep and she's like cuddling up next to him and she like puts her arm around him and he kind of looks like I don't really know what to do. That, that was just precious. They have all walls down and they were just being Edward and Bella in love. That just brought tears to my eyes. It, I came into the theater thinking I'm seeing Twilight the movie, not I'm seeing Twilight the book. And I really think that I came in with the right mindset and that's why I enjoyed it so much. I think, yes, it could have been better. Yes, there's a lot of things that I wasn't quite happy with. I was able to do what a lot of stupid people haven't done and I was able to overlook some of the things I didn't like about the movie and to be thankful that it was a lot better than it could have been. They had a small budget and they made a good movie out of it. So your expectations high, it's not going to meet them. And I spent some expectations low and it surpassed my expectations. So I, I asked those of you who have already seen it and hated it to reconsider and really think about it and really think about how much worse it could have been. I love you guys. I hope my long review of everything I thought about the movie wasn't super boring. Um, I will see Sana tomorrow. Sana must have who hasn't seen it. I'm sorry, Sana. I love you. And I will see all the rest of you guys next week. Mwah. Have a happy and safe Thanksgiving tomorrow. I hope everyone overeats and has fun. Like, I know I'm going to overeat. I just don't even care. So, bye guys. Mwah.